Well, good day everybody, and today I'm going to check out Tether Capture in uh, Adobe Lightroom. As you know from the last video, I got upgraded my uh, software and it for Lightroom. So today I'm going to check out Tether Capture for myself. I have used Tether Capture in Lightroom uh, before, but uh, this is the first time, of course, with my uh, latest software that I could actually do it from my own home because with the old Lightroom, I it couldn't uh, tether from my Canon 6D because you know I needed the latest software it just wouldn't tether capture with the 6D but so today I've got my camera set up and uh, I'm ready to go and just to let you know this is a post commentary so um, so it wasn't you know actually commentary commentating during the, uh, the session the shoot so uh, I'll just uh, just tell you the the steps I went through today so I had a little setup and I decided to go with a um, a little prop, uh, my ducks hat, and a home ducks hat. Just a little setup in my uh, my office. The going now to the tether, uh, start the tether, and the settings. I've gone the the year two thousand seventeen of February the eighth. So that's the session name, and I've put it into the raw files folder uh, where the destination destination is. And just some keywords down the bottom, Ducks Hat Product, Home Studio, and uh, maybe just Natural Light. So I'll be using Natural Light for this as well. Um, I've got two windows in my office, and uh, yeah, I'll just, I just open up the blinds, and yeah, it's nice Natural Light today, because there's no sun, it's nice and cloudy, so, you know, it's nice, it's nice light. So the settings, yeah, so, settings are... You know the white balance, cloudy ISO one hundred, f eleven, four. Uh, yeah, one over four. So let's just uh, take the first. So I've just taken the first shot, and uh, yeah, I didn't really set that up well, but uh, yeah, as you can see there, like the light, and uh, yeah, I've decided to go with a black background because later on. Uh, I'm going to edit it, edit it in Photoshop and uh, select around the hat and put it on a white background because it's much easier that way because I wanted full white. The it it just didn't look good on a white background because I tried that yesterday. So I'm gonna you know select around the edges of the white and it's much better you know defining the edge on a black background. So that's what I'm gonna do later on. So that's the first shot, and yeah, the, the lighting, you know, that's really nice around the hat. And it's a grey hat as well, which was really tough on a white background, so that's why I decided to redo it on a black. So, yeah, I've just selected the settings, and yeah, I think that was about right. And as you can see now, uh, I've done my second shot and just adjusted the angle. It was just a bit off. Uh, so... During this shot, I was just playing around with some of the angles. I just rose the rose the tripod a bit higher. Uh, just was playing around with the hat because I I like the hat on on that angle. Um, but yeah, I just went to put it on straight on as well. And yeah, but it just didn't look as good. But uh, the light. So at the moment I take my second shot, uh, I think I was playing around with the hat just trying to get that perfect angle. And we'll see from the third shot. From the third shot, uh, coming through. Okay, so yeah, I've put the hat straight on, but yes, as you can see the angle just still, you know, wasn't straight enough, but I still don't like the straight on angle. And as you can see in the background, that um, that white piece was a reflector I was using on the left side of the hat because you know the light is coming straight and on towards the left hand side so I wanted to bounce some light on the right just to you know flatten that uh, brighten up that side of the uh, hat as well so while we wait this was um I was just still adjusting the hat because you can see it's still not straight on to the camera uh, so we go to the next shot and Coming through now, tethering it, and yeah, I went back on the uh, that angle, and I uh, I rose the tripod a bit higher, uh, just zooming in, nice and clear. So yeah, as you can see, I just rose the tripod a bit higher just to get a bit of a higher angle. 
I think the lower angle looked much better, however, I'm not, I'll have a look again in post, but, oh, what I did as well, as you can see at the top, I, um, went to 0.3 of a second, just to make it, just to get that little bit more exposure, because I think, you know, the exposure was fine, but I just wanted to go just a little bit higher to just maybe brighten it up a little bit more, and, yeah, I think that was perfect at f11 and 100 of a, uh, ISO 100. So I just took another one and yeah, there, and so as you can see there, the uh, reflector in the background. But um, yeah, I think I rose the, put the tripod back down. Yeah, put the tripod back down on that angle. That angle just looks much better. And uh, I just took another one just to show you the difference between reflector and no reflector. So as you can see, yeah, it's, it, the much darker, as you can, I'm switching back and forth, it's much darker uh, in the shadow part on the right hand side, look at that. So that reflector just, you know, just helped them a little bit more. It's not bad, but I'm putting that back on a white background, so it'd, it'd be look, looking much better if it much or brighter on. So yeah, that was all really good. And yeah, that's where I left it because I was really happy with those results already. And it was just a little play around with the tether capture as well. Uh, I really like, you know, I can finally set up my own studio. Not studio, small studio in, in here. Tether capture it straight away. It just really helps. I really like the Lightroom uh, tether capture. A lot of people use Capture One as well, but it's very convenient when, you know, you've got, you're putting all your files there anyway. So, you know, why not just put it in there straight away, set it to your destination a file folder as well so it's all there and you know you can always edit around it as well and you've got you know keywords and it just it's very convenient so uh, yeah I was really happy with those results but um, yeah that, that was just a little test run through the tether capture uh, my first time in Adobe Lightroom and uh, yeah so thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video